So the first part is the major connector. Now in order to have an optimum and stable design, a removable partial denture needs to extend to both sides of the arch because just one sided removable partial denture will create a lot of instability in its design. So the component that connects these two parts that is the right and the left halves of the removable partial denture frame is known as the major connector. So a major connector basically performs the role of connecting both sides of the denture bases and act as a bridge between the two sides. In being the connection between the two halves, the major connector essentially transfers the functional forces such as the forces of mastication that are being applied on the artificial teeth as well as on the denture base. This essentially distributes the forces of mastication equally along the entire arch rather than concentrating that forces on any one side of the denture which would in the end create instability in the design. Therefore, major connectors provide optimum stability to the prosthesis by connecting the two halves of the denture and distribution of the functional forces along the entire removal partial denture framework. Now, there are other principles of major connector design and likewise, there are also other various different types of mandibular and maxillary major connectors, each having their own specific usage that I will be discussing in my other video. But this core principle of major connector and its design remain essentially the same among all.